Crafters. My name is Julie Creek. My husband Tom and I own Creek Bank Creations. We are a paper arts company located in Perrysville, Indiana, right in the middle of the Midwest. So happy to be with you today to share with you our new program. Um, it's our mini album program and we call it Skinny Dippin'. We named it Skinny Dipping because when you start, Skinny Dippin', when you start, we are starting with a raw album and this album is in white and the album is made so that it's naked. So when you open it up on the inside, there's nothing on the inside, but we have two different ways to start with that you can decorate this album. I know many of you will get creative and do your own thing with it, but we're starting with the bare album and in the rest of this video, I'm gonna go through and show you how the different ways to accent this naked album. So we have 10 new dies to go in the Skinny Dippin' line that I'm really excited about. These dies are designed to save you time and to give you precise cuts. So not only will you get the pockets and the flaps, but you'll get the mats to go on the pockets and flaps, which is just a really great way to have things nice and easy to die cut and that are clean. So in this series, we're gonna, I'm gonna go through and show you how to build these albums. We're gonna do abbreviated version today and then I'll go through later and do more in-depth thing, but I do wanna go through some of the dies with you before we get started. The first thing you need to know is there are three dies that are what we call giant dies. And the giant dies, when you purchase them, they come in the storage pocket. So in the booth or when you order them online, the, you, will, you will find they are very large and they come in a storage pocket. Now, these dies range in size from one by three all the way up to nine inches wide. So these dies are designed to fit in the um, oversized machines and these come apart. These are not connected. These are all individual dies and um, so you need to have the Sizzix switch or another oversized machine. Now these dies have smaller dies in them that you can cut in your Spellbinders, Big Shot, Vagabond. I love the tag set and the tag set I use in the mini album quite a bit. And these measure the largest 7.9, the smallest 3.5. So you can see, I still have a lot of dies on here that I can use in my standard cutting machine, but you need to know when you purchase them, there are some oversized or giant dies in there and you will need a cutting width larger than six inches to cut the giants. Everything else in the Skinny Dippin' line has a standard width configuration, means you can cut it in any machine that has a six inch opening. Okay, so um, some of them you will need the extended cutting platform and that is if you purchase the pocket page die. It is the only die in this series that has um, the need of an extended cutting platform. So you can cut this in a six inch opening, big shot, vagabond, spellbinders, but you will need an extended cutted platform to cut this. The rest of the dies, the number set, the pocket page insert, which has our new Savannah alphabet, the 8.25 inch spine die, the flat pages, the waterfall pocket, the belly band die, the inside pocket. All will cut in a standard machine that has a six inch opening without an extended cutting platform. So I have a lot of information today. I am going to turn the camera down and then I'm going to explain the two basic ways that you can build the mini album and have fun decorating it. As we move forward, I will do more video that break down each of the individual dies because these dies have 19, 25, one of them's got uh, 50, no, 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 58 dies in it. So I will do standalone dies, standalone videos for each of the dies. But for right now, we're going to turn the camera down and we're going to learn how to decorate our mini album. 
So there are two basic ways to build this Skinny Dippin' mini album. And so we're gonna go over that. The easiest way to do this is to start with the plain album and add the Skinny Dippin' drop-in pages. The drop-in pages are pre-scored and pre-cut for you, and there are three heavyweight pages in the album. Now, these pages are 12.5 inches long, so they are longer, unfortunately, than a regular piece of scrapbook paper. So when you open that basic Skinny Dippin' album, what you're gonna find is that it's raw on the inside. Okay, there's nothing in there, so you can accent what you want. The drop-in pages are designed so that you can unfold them, put tape in, and tape that into the spine, and then you have three separate pages to accent and decorate. A little hard to see on the white, but I'll show you the decorated version. So these pages, this front page is 5.5 inches wide and 8.25 inches long. The inside piece is six inches wide and 8.25 inches long. And then you have that half inch area where you adhere it into your spine. Now let me show you the decorated version so that you can see better what I am talking about since this has some color to it. And I have used the Simple Stories Vintage Coastal Collection and I want to show you, this is that flat page that you looked at earlier. It was all white. And you, and you can see here, when you add the drop-in pages, it gives you three pages to accent on. And I've used the various dies to accent this, and I'll, I'll go over this after we do a quick walkthrough. Okay, so this is the Skinny Dippin' album with the drop-in pages, and you can see three basic pages there. Now, when you buy the basic album, you can add to it the accessory dies. So let's go over what the accessory dies are in this album. On page one, you see right here on the inside cover, we have the inside pocket die. The inside pocket die has 12 dies in it, and it is included is that inside pocket, which is this large pocket that you see over here. There's a tag pocket in there, which you can see here. This is included in the inside pocket package, plus there's some peak windows. And we will go through and um, dissect all of that in later videos. I will take and we will do a standalone video on inside pocket. So that's the inside pocket. I just want to kind of flip through here and show you what I've added to this pieces here. And then this is your waterfall pocket. This waterfall pocket fits in either album and so does the inside pocket. And waterfall pocket gives you three separate pockets to accent with. And that pocket will go all the way down in. They layer into each other and these are the tags that I talked about from the tag die. Now you see waterfall pockets. Let me show you what that looks like. Waterfall pockets, 19 dies in this series, and they come with words as well. Amazing adventures, good stuff, love this, you make me smile are included in this. And you'll notice here there are three dies with each of these pockets. So you can cut the pocket, you can cut pattern paper, and then if you want to put a photo on the front of these pockets, you can. So if you notice on this page back here that we turned over, this, this is the basic waterfall pocket that you see here, but I just placed one on the pocket and then accented the pocket. I'm going to try and pull this up for you so you can see a little better the detail on this page. Okay, so this is the waterfall pocket and waterfall pocket fits in the drop-in album or it fits in the pocket page album. Just accessories here and then we're going to flip this over and you can see here that you'll find is the flap pages. Flap pages is, this is a 25 piece die set and includes the flaps for you to make the flap pages. 
and you'll see right there that is the belly band die. Flap pages and belly band can be used in either of the pocket page album or the drop-in. Here's the belly band that opens and then you have your pages. Now what I love about this flat pages die is that I included the die to cut this inside piece. So if you want to cut that on some coordinating pattern paper, this die right here allows you to cut that perfect space and you can see I added some extra pieces in there as well. So here's our flat pages. We're going to go down to here. This is I Love Us and it is included in the flat pages die along with this fun flap system here. So this is a flap that you can cut into paper and then you have this piece that opens and I've got that held shut with a magnet. So we will do standalone video on the flat pages die, but this is what a drop-in page album looks like. Three pages accented and you could use that inside pocket back here in the back if you wanted to. So that's drop-in pages album and you can use the waterfall pockets, you can use the belly band die, you can use the flat pages die, or you can use the inside pocket. Now, that is an amazing album. I want to show you another version. So we're going to start with the same basic white album, no color. And then we will, um, what you're going to do if you build this way, is you're going to need the 8.25 inch spine die. And this spine die is um, scored and cut for you. You're gonna score it and cut it, adhere the two pieces together. And then you need the pocket page die for this album. And this is a monster album, tons of dies in this set, 25 dies in this set. And then you'll need your insert page for that. So this is a totally different way to go to, to do it. You need the pocket die, you need the pocket page insert, and the spine die. Let me show you what that looks like. Same vintage coastal collection. We're going to open it up and take a look here. And you'll see we start out over here with that fun inside pocket die that we talked about earlier. And this closure, pull this up for you, this closure is in the inside pocket piece. And this die, and there's several dies that go in this, are in the inside pocket. So that's inside pocket. And inside pocket works on either album. Now, when you build this album, you're going to put your spine in the album and you're going to have a five page spine. So this is what the album looks like when you put the raw spine in and we'll be shooting video on how to do that. And then what we're going to do is add the pocket page onto the spine. That will give you five pages. One, two, three, four, five. And the pocket page, so this is the pocket page die, this base page right here. This is your pocket page insert that goes in there. So do you have to have the pocket page insert die? No, but it is sized to fit perfectly. Your tabs stick out far enough that you can grab a hold of them, but they do not protrude past the outside edge of the album. So this album is wonderful to get massive amounts of photos in it. And you can literally get a whole year's worth of photos in this album or like your Disney vacation, lots of albums. So to buy it this way, you're going to need the Skinny Dippin' album, the 8.25 inch spine, the pocket page and the pocket page insert. And here's my five pages, one, two, three, four, Five. That is a lot of pages. Now let's go through what we have here. This, when you buy the pocket page die, you'll see here, 
I have the belly band die. We're going to open this up. When you buy the pocket page, which gives you that base page, it also comes with these flaps. Three of them. Okay, so flaps are included with the pocket page system. Love this and good stuff are found on, I think the waterfall, I'm double checking, on the waterfall page. And we'll show you that in a minute. So here's your pocket page insert that we talked about. It gives you that nice tab and that'll slide right down and fit in your pocket. We're going to turn that over. And there is that waterfall pocket that we talked about earlier. I've got my waterfall in this book back here, but I also took that pocket and put it right here. Now you'll notice here that the alphabet set is called Savannah and it is an outline letter alphabet. So you can cut in two colors and inlay one into the other, or you can just cut it and just use the inside piece. When you buy the pocket page insert die, which is this die, it includes the entire Savannah alphabet. Okay, upper and lower case are included in that. I'll show you what that looks like. It's a very large set. You might want to get the storage sheet to uh, accommodate that upper and lower case. And then we also have the numbers if you want to just purchase the number set number set savannah number set so let's move on to page two and what you'll see here with page two is that we have that flat page which can be found on the pocket page die that we talked about earlier and you'll notice down here in the corner we have this little holding mechanism little tab thing that i have adhered with mini brads and you will find this little piece located inside Savannah flat pages. So if you pull this over, you'll see right here, that is the piece that I used in Savannah flat pages to make this little piece that holds. And then we have our pocket, our insert piece. We're gonna pull that over to the next page and we'll see um, You Make Me Smile comes off of the waterfall set let me make sure yes the waterfall set and then here we are we have the flap pages and we have this piece which comes off of the inside pocket here's inside pocket and this piece right here is the piece that you're looking at here size to hold a mini album and this can come totally off or you can swing it so you can pull it up, you can pull it down, and it's just a nice closure. Now, I will be shooting video on all of this detail, um, but this is the flat pages from the pocket pages die with that piece from the inside pocket. We're going to flip that over. Again, we have that insert that we could put more photos on. This is your little peak pocket here, and that particular pocket comes from the flap pages die flap pages and this is your pocket right down here okay now we have the flap pages over here and we have the belly band holding that shut and the belly band does come it's two pieces size to fit the magnet there are also additional circles in there so if you want to cut another circle to cover up or make an accent you can do that that pops open and then we have our tabs our flat pages and again there's that die that cuts that inside piece so you have perfect um, alignment with it and that gives you your flap pages flip that over and now you'll see here's the waterfall pocket that we talked about earlier waterfall pocket fits on this beautifully and then you can stick your tags in however you want to do that now I will tell you the tag die does come with um, a die that actually cuts the hole for your tag and it has the hole reinforcer die on there. So you can cut that out of coordinating paper and get that really nice finished look. Another insert page here and then we're going to turn this over and we have our last page inside pocket with the tag dies and then we have this cute little 
pocket here that we've added and that pocket can be found on the inside pocket. This is the inside pocket die with this little piece included. So if you look, here's our inside pocket with that flap tag and there is that die that cuts this side and scores this side and it gives you the ability to make this cute little pocket. So that is the brief run through of the um, mini album program. I will tell you the front of this outside cover are basic size from top to bottom, 6.5 by 8.5. Our spine is two inches wide, 8.5 inches long. And I really designed these inner pages so that you could use um, paper that's only six inches wide. So if you're cutting a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, you can use one side here and one side over there and you're not wasting paper. So I have put a lot of thought into this program so that you can get maxi maximum amount of um, use out of it. And I think the dies are just going to make mini album construction much easier. So stay tuned. I will have more, um, more projects coming forth explaining in detail all of these dies. Thanks for hanging with me. You can find Skinny Dippin' on our website, www.creekbankcreations.com.